What is going on guys, we are here with ABR versus a Genesis 7 for Samoan Snake Draft Phase 3. So ABR U turns out turn 1 on the Landers, Genesis gets up his rocks, he's a lefties variant. So there's only a defensive uh, Landers. This is some sort of default Katana, I'm not sure if it's Scarf or if it's a, D a SD variant with Z-Move. Um, the Z-Move is either on the Katana or on the Bulu. But he's definitely gonna go for default here, there's no doubt in my mind. So now Genesis can um, Fire off a discharge because ABR should never go risk his landers here on a potential HPIs is what I've, that's how I feel at least. Um, if he's a bulky Tran, he can go to Tran or he can also go to Hooper. Hooper has really nice spot death. I assume the Hooper is either Specs or Bandit. The Elmola is going to have some nice wish support for the team. The Tran is probably going to be Rock since the lander uh, short. u turn out turn 1 was probably Scarf. I mean, Scarf lander with Rocks is a thing sometimes, but I don't think it's a, th it's a thing on this team. Like, I don't think it's going to be on that team. Okay, he goes lander, so he breaks out the discharge. Um, a little bit risky on ABS part. I don't personally wouldn't have made that play. Uh, he's gonna U-turn back into Cartana, I assume, yeah. Um, he's gonna be forced to defog again unless he um has oh okay okay okay. So he has a Z move, uh, Z leaf blade, and he gets a crit. That could probably matter. That's uh, really unfortunate. And now the rock setter is dead, and Cartana pretty much defogs on everything. Um. I mean potential scarf Greninja or. Scarf Scarf Kelio can um, can Oko the Cartana. Um, I mean Greninja doesn't have to be Scarf to outspeed it. Greninja could definitely come out here to threaten it off. Because uh, I don't think Gen yeah, Genesis doesn't want ABI to get the default. But he can also go Zapdos and um Fire off a heat wave or discharge, depending on his set. Um, I think this is the Roost Defox Zapdos with then um, Discharge and either Heatwave or HPIs. But yeah, we can definitely Defox since he outspeeds Zapdos and he just wants the Rock's gun. Uh, Genesis Rock set us all already dead. Uh, looking at the rest of Genesis 7's team. Uh, so he Defox, he just Discharges. Gets a Para. So I don't think he has Heatwave because I think he would have gone for it because you don't want to, you don't want to let him Defox for free. Um, now ABR can go into his Heatran or his uh, Hooper. Uh, the first time he went into Landris already, I don't think he's gonna go Landris again on risk of potential HPIs. Since he, he didn't go for Heatwave, that might also mean he doesn't have Heatwave, he might have, H have HPIs. Uh, yeah, the rest of Genesis team, I assume that's the Solvest Majorna. The lander was defensive, the Kelt or the Grin is gonna be Scarf. Um, one of the two might be Z-Move as well. Or he might not have a Z-Move user. And the Marvel is gonna be some sort of SD Mega Marvel. So now he goes on a Heatran on a Discharge. Um, uh, that's definitely some sort of uh, max HP trend, maybe even with some spadef. Took the discharge super well. Uh, ABR can go for Toxic or get his rocks up here as Genesis goes into Kelio. ABR is now gonna be f uh, going into either Alamomola or um, Tapu Bulu here. Um, the reason why you would go Bulu over Alamomola is because if it's sub calm on Kelio. I know that set is not common, but if it's that set, it sets up on Alamomola but doesn't set up on Bulu. So it goes hard Bulu. That looks like Scarf damage to me depending on the Bulu set, we don't know that yet. Um, he gets a burn, so that's some revenge hacks. He got crit on his lander earlier. Uh, he's now gonna switch into Zapdos because he wants to defog. Uh, if ABR doesn't have a move to hit the Zapdos, he can double out here. But ABR stayed in, let's see what he has. He has Nature's Madness. So that makes me think that he's potentially a Solvus Bulu because that's like the only Bulu that I ever see use Nature's Madness. And the Kelly only did 18, so I think that could be Specs Kelly and then AV Bulu. So he defogs, Hooper comes out. If he has Bandit Fire Punch, that would be nice, but. Um, he's definitely gonna go into Majorna here. Genesis is definitely gonna go Majorna. Um, no matter what type of set it is. And he has the gratitude and recovery. He can play around if he goes for Fire Punch there, even though it would be really annoying for him. Um, now I would definitely Volt Switch here because, um, maybe I should go into Heatran or Alamomola. I don't think he should risk his, um, Landris here. He can also double into his Keldia because that covers Heatran and uh, Landris. But I would still just Volt Switch here. So he does go in Heatran, and okay, he doesn't Volt Switch, he doubles. And the Kel here, that is fine as well, like I said. And maybe that's gonna go into Amola or uh, Bulu again. So he does go into Amola, and there's a Hydro Palm that is 44%. So I, don't, I do think that it's definitely some sort of Specs. Yeah, that's Specs Kelly. Not some sort, it is Specs, I think, yeah. So he's gonna go for Wish or Toxic here. As uh, he goes to Zap to get some leftovers. Yeah, I don't think Discharge kills from his range actually if the Mola is like Spadef invested. As it's able to eat it up and he misses a Toxic, so that's unfortunate. Um, I think ABR is gonna switch now. I 
Now Genesis can just spam this judge here. Because he doesn't want to go for a potential... Like, if he goes for a roost here, predicting ABR to go for protect, and ABR goes for toxic, that would be bad for Genesis. So I thought he would have just gone for discharge, but he goes Nikel here. Yeah, I guess discharge... Yeah, I understand. Okay, I understand that play. Because if he if, if ABR protects, then uh, Mola lives the discharge after. Now he can obviously just... Like, Mola lived the discharge after protect, or it would have been a roll, so I understand why he protected. Now he sees that the Kelly is locked in the secret sword. Um, he can go into his Landris here, or he can stay in even, okay. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, I'm, that did actually nothing. Okay, this is the mixed defensive Mola. Probably this, I don't know if it's a standard smoking spread, but some sort of mixed defensive he's gonna wish here. And... I don't think he's gonna stay in here, so if ABI like, predicts the switch, he could have gone for like a Scald or Toxic, but he didn't have to. Protecting was completely fine there. He can protect again here. And, like, I don't think Jonas Flirt can would kill. So, I think Genesis is just gonna Volt Switch out. So, ABI can protect and then wish. Okay, he wishes immediately. I thought he would protect first. Um, what is he gonna go now? Maybe into Mawile and SD up to hope and hoping that he won't get burned. Because Zapdos, we have already seen that Zapdos cannot kill the Mola from. Like, after the wish goes up, it will I'll be out of range again. So yeah, it's looking um, like ABR is going to pick up the win here. So okay, he goes into Zapdos. I guess he's just willing to let this get poisoned. Like he doesn't really have anything to kill the Mola. Uh, Mola is, he's going to, ABR is going to go for Protect here, right? Exactly. And he roots predicting that, nice play. But the only way he can prevent the Zapdos from getting a Toxic is getting a Discharge para for para. Or maybe a Crit High Roll would kill. So he's probably gonna fish for the powerful para here, or for a toxic miss again. So that's the discharge. It actually gets a high roll there and gets a para, but it doesn't get the full para and a toxic connect. Also, it actually was a roll from 71, so maybe he should have stayed in early on the album Mola. But he switched out on a protect into Kelio. Um, now ABI is gonna switch out. I don't think he's gonna risk getting para on a protect. Yeah. He goes on a top of Wooler. Um, so this works out perfectly for ABR. Unless it's the HP Poison, but usually HP Poison, it's not a thing on Specs. I've seen it on Scarf Keldia, I think, but not on Specs. Um, yeah, he's probably... I mean, his timer, his Zapdos is now on a timer. So even if he goes Zapdos now, like, it, it's completely fine for ABR. Um, how does Genesis even break ABR's team? Um, SD Mobile, I guess, is his last hope to put in work. I don't see Greninja breaking... The Alamomola either, unless it gets some paras. Um, so the Greninja is probably Scarf since the Kalio specs. So he just madnesses again on the Zapdos. I assume he's just gonna roost. And he can go for rocks since the Zapdos is poisoned. The toxic damage will rack up over time. Um, it's toxic, so poison damage will rack up. I kinda mixed that up there. He gets paralyzed. Um, he's gonna go Alamomola or Bulu again. Um, does he have a double that covers all options? I guess he can try to double into Maul, well, like I said earlier already, and then just try to SD to end if he doesn't get parried. But the thing is, ABR still has um, stuff to check Maul, well, like Katana can check Maul, well, uh, Heatran can check Maul, well, and Lando can check Maul well as well. So, like, um, it's looking bleak for, for Genesis. Um, so he wishes up again. He can pass this, I guess, in the Heatran, but he doesn't have to. He can also just click Scald. Yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh, he's going for the, for the flinches now, I see. <laughs> Um, okay, I just once. I thought he would spam Iron Hat. <laughs> okay. So he's gonna wish again here, or to Scald? Okay, just wishes again. Um, probably gonna, he's probably gonna pass this into his Heatran or into his Hooper. Probably Heatran, since Heatran is already paralyzed, and you don't want to risk getting paralyzed on your Hooper. So he doesn't Heatran on a Discharge. He's gonna just get his health back from the Wish. And he can attempt to get Rocks up once again. Last time he got paralyzed. He gets up the rocks now, and now he can go back and do Alamola or uh, Bulu. Um, does Genesis... Yeah, I don't see Genesis winning this. Like, I'm like trying to see a double switch that can pro somehow punish. Maybe as Mola or Bulu, but I don't really see it. Um, like, ABR has like checks for everything. So he misses another pump that doesn't really help. Like, that doesn't matter too much, but it's definitely annoying. Um, maybe I can just like wish again here. 
And yeah, you can pass this into Heatran once again. As he defogs, and maybe I can just get rocks back up here. Zapdos is gonna be forced out eventually. I would just rock again here if I was ABR. I mean, you can Magma Storm as well, but I would just rock again. Okay, Lava Plume, yes, Lava Plume, okay. And that makes sense because I think he thumps out of Spadef because he took like no damage from this charge. Um, I think Magma Storm is like usually only on offensive turn. So he does show him Power Electric, but it doesn't do enough. And ABR can just switch out here. Yeah, into Landris or Bulu, but he, yeah, he decides to go Landris. And yeah, Kelly does to poison. He can just go into his um, Alamola here on the Greninja. Um, I guess he could go for spikes, that would be nice, but still, I don't see him bringing this game back. So there's the Allo, there is the Pump, so it is a Proting Run. Um, I think it's Scarf, I mean, didn't reveal it yet, but his team is way th super slow otherwise. Um, like, sometimes I say a team doesn't need a Scarf when it has, like, a bulky backbone, but on this team, you're super weak to Volcarona, I think you can definitely, um, you definitely need, like, a Scarf Grin. So, he got a Wish Path into Tren, I mean, Tren was at full anyway. Um, so he level plumes and the toxic is gonna rev up, the Zapdos gets weakened, he's gonna like either roost or switch. He's gonna rocks again here unless he gets para. He can go back into Elmola and this is just yeah, ABI just Especially with no rocks up, um I don't see ABI losing this. Like no rocks on ABR's side. Uh, so he takes rocks, poison cancels out the left lefties cancel out the poison, he's gonna have to roost here. Um maybe I can, I can see ABR like Going into um, Hoopa Heatran or Heatran. I mean, you can also stay in Scald, but I'm, like Alamola is so weak that Scald doesn't really do much damage, so I thought he would switch. Okay, just wishes again. <laughs> that like, obviously works, but I figured going hard in Tren or Hoopa would have worked better. But yeah, having a, a wish in the air always, always means that Heatran, even if Zapdos goes for this charge, is going to be back at full. The rocks are gonna go back up. And he can just lava plume again here or Yeah, yeah I think Genesis is forced to switch here. I mean Genesis kinda has to defog and hope for paras. But on the other side, if he doesn't get the para. Okay, okay. Looking really bad for Genesis. I mean it's been looking bad for a while, but now he's just he was going for the discharge para there. That was like his last hope, I guess. He gets Parade, we will never know if he predicted the Rooster Man for off power, but I don't think he had a reason to predict anything. Um, I mean, he could have off power there, but just I mean, Lava Plume is fine as well. Hard Greninja, no burn at least. So back into Allo, I assume here. ABR is gonna go back to Allo. I'm not sure, I don't know if he doesn't have spikes or if he just doesn't want to go for it. Pump is like odd on Scarf Grin. But yeah, ABR is gonna wish once more. I guess if Scald kills, he can go for that. But I don't think Scald kills because Allo is pissed weak. Okay, it's paralyzed here. So he's gonna roost into Defog. But yeah, I guess he his way of winning is like SDing up with Marvel and then maybe like Sucker Punch critting. I don't really see how else he can win. Yeah, Marvel is like his last hope. So if rocks go back up now, now they don't go back up because he gets the parry. That's the parry he needed. So now his Zapdos is still alive. Uh, he turns out on the Allo, so now he, I think he has to go the Marwell, yep, finally. So we do see it's Hyper Cutter Marwell, which means it won't get intimidated by Lando, before, before it's Megat at least. Uh, so he's gonna SD up here and hope for some para hex. Okay, just hard T-punches. I mean, he doesn't have a switch into this, because um, Zapdos is, I think, at super low, yeah, he just hopes for a para. So like he could have SD'd up anyway, so he gets up rocks to ensure that the Zapdos dies. Uh, probably with just Lava Plume there, but this is a fine play as well. Um, because he has a land at the back that is quite healthy. Oh yeah, earlier I said Katana checks Morwell, but to be fair, Katana doesn't do much back to Morwell. I think I said that, but yeah, Katana doesn't really do that much back, so that was like, attack that back. But Heatran and Landus is like, so Abira is still fine. He's probably just gonna off quick here since Zapdos dies to rocks and everything else is grounded, he has no reason to click anything else. Um, he's gonna go Alamola here. He doesn't have to risk anything. 
He wants to keep the land to check the Mawa. Mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of time till he goes to Allo here. Goes for Ice Beam there. I guess he had to. Yeah, he had to bank on a choke at that point. Um. Back into. Okay, Magiona. I thought back into Mawa there. EBR goes Hooper. Um, does he need to Hooper to win? Oh, it's. Oh, I thought he was Specs. Uh, he wasn't. He's like mixed Hooper, okay. But that, that didn't do too much to Fire Punch. I really thought that. That Eddie Magiona is so bulky. But yeah, now he clicks off, gets a kill. Greninja comes in uh, now to force this out. Uh, maybe I goes back to Allo. I'm really surprised. I thought there was spec super because Dark Bulls did f like Dark Bulls at 15, but like it's an AV Majorna. Like AV Majorna is so fat, so I thought there was specs. But I guess I was wrong there. <laughs> I mean, it could still be specs mix, but I don't think that's the thing. Uh, it might be. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I don't think it's specs. So he goes hard into Lando. If that okay, that player of miss sucks. Um, that would have done like a bit over half, I assume. So yeah, ABS just now gonna now off quick, and the game pretty much ends. So he says he's HP invested Scarf. So he probably would have lived High Player into Sucker Punch for sure, yeah. But yeah, he's just gonna off quick here, pick up his kill. Because um second Greninja doesn't do anything for Genesis because Mobile cannot kill Landris, so he has to stay in here with Mobile. No, um, Earthquake is obviously gonna kill um, because the Lando, like defensive Lando, I've seen that not kill Mawile. Like a HP invested Mawile has lifted the defensive of Lando Earthquake before, but like attack invested Lando, even if it's not max attack, I think uh, pretty much always kills Mawile. So now he goes Gren and the game ends because Alamola walls. No, he's asking if he's SD or fire. Okay, he's fire thing. So he doesn't have SD. Okay, okay, that's why he didn't SD up earlier. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Okay, so I messed out just a little bit. Um, I guess this Hooper potentially wasn't Specs. I thought it was Specs, and what else did I ma mess up? Oh yeah, I said like once that Katana is like a mobile check. I mean, like it resists, like the moose, but like we see, you guys, he had Fire Fang, so like in this case, it wouldn't have uh, even checked it. And like even if Mobile doesn't have a move to hit Katana, Katana doesn't do that much back. I've already talked about that earlier. So that was just like a little mess up on my part. So he knocks off the Scarf, confirming that it's Scarf Grand, but we pretty much already knew it was Scarf Grand. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day and stay tuned for more uploads and peace out.